Good day, folks. Bo to Bob here. Hey, I just wanted to show you something that I found. Um, so how many times have you gone out, get on your tractor, found you got a flat tire or the tire is low? And most of you have air compressors, but I got a little pancake compressor and it always leaks the air out and I got to wait for it to air up. And then you got to put the air chuck on, take the air chuck off, check the air pressure. So anyhow, I got tired of all that because my car has one tire, one wheel that has a slow leak and it's at the valve. The tire shop told me they tightened the valve, but it, it still leaks. And it and inevitably, whenever I go to like an appointment, I'm always running late <laughs> and I go out, start the car, and these new cars, they all got a tire pressure sensor that says, lights up on the dashboard, and my, mine displays a great big flat tire. <laughs> so what I done is, uh, then I have to come in, power up my compressor, hook up my air line, unreel it from the reel, drag the hose out to the car, air up the tires, you know, the whole deal. And it takes time, and I'm late for my appointment. And I hate being late for my appointment, but that's another story. So I found, I got a few Milwaukee things and um, I got this Milwaukee air pump. And uh, hopefully it's the real deal. Use the M18 fuel cell. And uh, I don't know all the features, you know, it's got a power on button, got units. I don't know what the units are other than, let's see, what units do we got? PSI there. And I'm pushing it and it ain't doing nothing. So I don't know. It's got a me four memory things that you can store different mem um, air pressures. So like you could have a uh, air pressure for your rear tires on your tractor and a memory storage for the air pressure on your front tires. Cause I always forget what it is that I'm there looking for it. And anyhow, that'll come in handy. And then it's got an air pump. It's not gonna stay on because I'm not connected to the car or to the inner tube. So what I'm gonna do, let's go out and check one of the tires on my car real quick. So stand by. Hey, forgive me if uh, you can't see me in this video shot, but it is what it is. Hey, so I hooked it up to my uh, valve and it says I got 32 and a half pounds of pressure in there, which is probably okay. Um, if you want to know what your uh, air pressure should be on the driver's door, there's a plate in there that tells you what the air pressure should be. But I go, I run mine a little high and uh, I like to run my tire pressure at 35 just to get a little better gas mileage. Um, so I set the um, meter here to 35 and I'm gonna go ahead and push the uh, automatic button. And now it's at 35, so. Let's go ahead and check another one. All right, so this is the tire that always seems to go flat on my car. And uh, right now, after I plug this on, it says 32 pounds. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the inflate button. Gotta hold it for like three seconds. So what it does, it over inflates it just a little bit and then backs it down to the desired air pressure. So works pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying, well, I haven't used it yet, but I think this will be a lot better when I come out in that cold, cold day and my tires low and the light comes on on my dashboard. I can hook this up, get the air going 
and fill it up and not be late to my appointment. So uh, just something I thought I'd uh, share. Uh, hopefully it'll work out for me. And I can also use it for my tractor, airing them up, airing them down. And uh, the nice thing is you can kind of set your air pressure depending on what you want. So I think like the tires on the front of my tractor are 22. I can uh, put it to 22, push this button. Let's see what happens. That didn't do it. It might not deflate them for you. So anyhow, it is what it is. But at least it'll inflate them automatically for you. Let's go back up to 435. Hit and hold the inflate button. So it starts to inflate once you let it off. But you got to hold it for a couple seconds and then um, release it. And when you release it, that's when it starts to air up. So not for my motor mouthing. Check out, if you're interested, it's the Milwaukee uh, M18 air pump. I found it on YouTube, or not YouTube, Amazon. And be careful, you'll find some cheap Chinese knockoffs. One of them just had the lightning bolt, but the word Milwaukee wasn't on it. And then there's others that look exactly like it, but there's no Milwaukee or lightning bolt. So those are the knockoffs. I try not to buy the knockoffs. I'm usually disappointed, in my opinion. Uh, maybe they're just as good, I don't know. But... That's Bo to Bob's two pennies. So till next time, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.